Hi, you're watching Flight Steinberg's YouTube channel. Last week I exchanged the floppy drive in my 30-year-old Yamaha SY99 synthesizer with this USB floppy emulator. What I didn't show you though is the work involved to get this running. So while there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube already, some of the actual information necessary to make this work was missing. In order to change that, here's a video showing the process step by step. Here we go. <coughs> So he bought one of those $20 USB floppy emulators to install in an SY99. Those won't work right out of the box. What you need to do is to open them up by removing the three screws on top of them. Now take a look at the inscription on the tiny processor found on the mainboard. There are two chips you can find here. ARM STM32F105 or Artery AT32F415. Depending on what you find, you may need a USB flash adapter for the STM or a special USB cable with Type-A ends on both sides for the AT32. In my case, I found an STM32F105 chip inside. As I had no suitable USB cable around, I used this USB serial port adapter on the breadboard. I also needed some connector cables that plug into the breadboard. Now take a look at the USB floppy drive. There should be a set of pins near the power plug, a row of 5 pins and another row of 4 pins. On most boards, there are holes instead of pins. In that case, you can either solder the pins on your or just plug the wires into the holes and attach them with needles or anything that will secure them in place. If you have pins, you can now place a jumper on the outermost of the five pins. This will put the drive into flash mode. If you don't have the pins, you can use a short wire. Then take a look at the schematics of the serial adapter. We're going to use four pins, TX, RX, VCC and GND, which are abbreviations for transfer, receive, voltage and ground. The TX of the serial adapter must be connected to the RX pin of the USB floppy drive and the TX of the floppy must be connected to the RX of the serial adapter. Then connect the voltage pin and the ground pin of the adapter to the power plug of the USB drive. Now connect the serial adapter to USB port on your computer. Download the flash image installer by ST Electronics and install it. Then download a software called Flash Floppy, unzip the archive, launch the flash image installer and select your COM device. I found using a lower baud rate to be more successful here. Then click next. If your device isn't found at first, don't worry. Perform a reset by briefly short circuiting the two innermost pins on the USB floppy drive and then try again. Eventually, your floppy drive will be found and connected. If necessary, click the remove protection button here. On the next screen, just press next. Then select the download to device and select the hex file inside the flash floppy folder you unzip previously. Change the file type filter if needed. Select the hex file that is named after the chip on your floppy drive board, in my case STM32F105. Then press next and wait for the download process to finish. Next, set jumpers as seen on screen right now to make the drive work with your SY99. The order is two empty columns of pins, jumper, one empty column, jumper. Now let's prepare a USB stick. Make sure it's formatted in FAT32, which by default all USB sticks are. Download a software called WinImage, install and launch it, then create a new image file. Select 720 kilobytes. Select the inject file option and then select the files you want to transfer to your SY99. Once finished, select write and then place that image file in the root folder of your USB stick. Now. Close the lid of the floppy drive and fix it with the screws and install it in your SY99. In case you were replacing the original floppy drive, you will need a 34-pin to 26-pin adapter cable like this one. Once everything is in place, you can then insert a USB stick into the new USB port and load the files you copied to the stick previously. If for some reason you encounter problems, you can reset the floppy drive by removing the USB stick and pushing the two select buttons simultaneously for 3 seconds. 
Yeah, and that's it for today. Floppy drive emulator in the Yamaha SY99. And if you found this useful or interesting, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you very much. And as always, thanks for watching and see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.